All right, guys, talking Aquaview underwater cameras, and uh, I, I talk about them a lot. Um, obviously, they're a big part of my, my fishing and my pre-fishing, have a lot of fun with them and learn a lot from them. So just gonna show you how I have mine rigged up on my boat. Um, I've done this the last, this is my third year. I've actually got a TH Marine mini Kong mount that I mount the, the camera to, and it's really easy. I've got it locked down here, but it literally just screws on. It's really solid, pops off just like that. And, and you know, some of the tournaments at home are not allowed to actually have these in the boat. It pops on and off really easy, but that's my setup there. So I have it right here at the console. They, when you buy one, they come in a little bag and I've got that right here. And uh, I just find having it here, I, I, when I, the days when I'm gonna use it, I keep the spool in the bag still in the camera. This is easy and uh, it all just folds up and I can put it away in a compartment. But when we're gonna use it, you, uh, you know, you un unwind as much cable and line as you need. And I actually just keep this down on the floor right here. And this plugs into the back of the camera right here. And uh, there we go. I've got a PowerPoint, sorry and that's how I power the camera. So it's running off my main boat battery, plugs in, hit power on this, and I'm able to, when I wanna use it, I can just drop it down. And a lot of times, you know, you see fish on your electronics, you don't know exactly what they are, uh, you can't catch them, you can drop that thing down there, immediately know what they are. A lot of times you think you're dropping your bait on smallmouths and they're actually walleyes or they're white bass or I've seen suckers, schools of suckers even, all kinds of different stuff. The St. Lawrence River, we're gonna you know, fish there on the Elite Series several years in a row, so we fish there a lot and uh, it's amazing in the current there. The water's super clear, I can actually drop this down and with a three or four mile an hour current, the current keeps the camera under the boat and I can do a big long drift and, and I find so many of my spots there uh, with this camera. I mean, if I see one or two bass, I don't even think anything of it, I just keep going. But when I start seeing eight or 10, put a waypoint on the hummingbird and if I go drift back over that spot, it's 100% I'm gonna catch one. It's a great tool. Um, you know, for if you fish with kids and they start to get bored, I do quite a bit of guiding. So if they're getting bored in the boat, fishing's not awesome. Um, you can set this up for your kids to use or your friends' kids to use, and they'll be busy for hours. I promise you. And they'll see fish, they'll see stuff, and you'll run. They'll, you know, there's one, there's one, and you're gonna want to run back and see what they're looking at. Brush piles. Often, you know, in the southern reservoirs, there's a lot of brush piles. You can, if you're onto that in practice, you know, a day or two before a tournament, you don't want to burn your fish, you don't want to show your bait to them, you can go drop this thing down and see, yeah, there's three or four bass in that brush pile, there's a big one. One thing I like to do, this is an add-on that Aquaview has, is this trolling fin, and uh, I like to put that on, and when you're moving around, it just kind of keeps the camera, you know, going in the same direction and avoids any spinning around. And then finally, the other thing you can do, I always carry a push pull with me. It's gotten me unstuck many times down, down on some of the southern reservoirs when I've gone exploring. Uh, but this, the Aquaview actually makes a pole adapter that connects right here and I can, I can screw it on the end of my push pole and then you can use the camera on a pole to look under docks, to look you know, into lay down trees. Um, you can do a lot of cool stuff with these cameras. So big part of my um, you know, program as far as pre-fishing and just scouting and learning Aquaview underwater cameras. And th for me, this is the HD7. They make a 10 inch screen as well. Um, you know, that's awesome, beautiful. I like the seven just for as much traveling as I'm doing. I can tuck it away easy and, and it's still a pretty good size screen, but, but that's it. Try one of these things out. They, uh, they'll teach you a lot.